Hi, I'm Kate from the Small Things blog. You may not recognize me because my eyelashes happen to look incredible. Um, I'm wearing false lashes because my actual eyelashes are actually pretty pathetic. But I'm wearing Winx by Georgie. These are great lashes. They're perfect for if you have a wedding that you are in, if it's your wedding, if you're a bridesmaid or attending, or if you have any other fancy occasion to go to this summer. Adding false eyelashes is a great way to kind of pump up your makeup look without going excessive on a lot of the makeup. It kind of just adds a lot of definition to your eyes, makes your eyes look a little bit bigger, um, and it's a great way to feel fancy. So I'm wearing these today because I'm going to be showing you a very easy updo to wear if you're in a wedding or attending a wedding, or like I said, have any other fancy event to go to this summer. So I'd recommend starting with loosely curled hair. You can kind of make this work for straight hair, but curly hair is going to be the easiest to kind of work with. Um, but you can also break this down and take steps of this style and then adapt it to your texture, whatever look you're going for. Um, so we're going to start by teasing a little bit at the crown. So kind of just this back section here. We're just going to tease to give that a little bit of hold. Teasing is a great way to add some foundation to your hair. So we're just going to kind of do the mohawk section and then I like to just soften it out with my fingers. But if you have super fine hair and you can't really smooth it out as well, you can always take the comb and just lightly comb over the very, very top section just so you have kind of a smooth bump in the back. So I'm going to make sure that's all smoothed out. Perfect. Okay. So I want you to grab two bobby pins and we're just going to kind of create a bump. So I'm going to put my thumbs right above my ears, but I'm not going to push all the way into my scalp. We're just going to grab sort of the top section of hair. Sort of the section you just teased. Push it up a little bit because we want a little dramatic height since this is going to be kind of a fancy updo. And then place two bobby pins in horizontally. So we're going to have one go that way, and then the other one will just go in opposite direction. Right next to it. Okay, so we're going to start right there. The rest of the hair from about your ears forward, grab a duckbill clip and keep that forward. So that's the section I'm going to keep forward. So then all that's left down here, we're going to tease around the bottom. This is a great way to add bulk if you're going to pull your hair all the way back, which is what we're going to be doing. This part is going to kind of just be another version of the teased and then just loosely pinned back. So I'm just going to start in the back and sort of grab my hair and start sticking pins in it. So you want this to be very kind of messy, undone. You don't want to go over top of those first two bobby pins that you put in, but sort of right below them. We're just kind of loosely pinning back to create a lot of bulk under here. And just keep pinning until you've got all your hair up. So you can see it's kind of a mess, but it'll look a little bit more polished when we finish. I'm going to make sure I got everything here. Just kind of randomly sticking it in without pulling the hair too far, just kind of on top of the section that you're taking. Okay, so that's where we're at back there. Kind of just a mess. But by starting with curly hair, you're not going to have those spikes sticking out a bunch of ends of your hair. The curls are going to kind of just softly fall into place. 
I've got this one little hair down here that I need to pin up. Let's see if I got it. Perfect. Okay, so we've got the back done. So we started with the bump, sectioned off these two front sections, created a mess back here, pinned. You can take out these duckbill clips, with these two sections you left in front. I like to leave a little bit of hair out, especially if you're going to a formal event. If it's going to be super humid, I'd recommend pinning all of your hair back. Um, but I'm going to leave this piece out right in front here. Then what I want you to do is start at the top and so, so loosely just begin twisting that section. Add a little bit of hair below it. Twist that in. And kind of keep going until you run out of hair in that section. and then twist it all the way back. And then you're gonna pull that right over top of those first horizontal pins that you put in. So I'm gonna hold that with my left hand. And then just take a pin and put it in against the twist. So the pin is opened and going in that way to hold the twist that I pulled this way in place. It's a great way to kind of lock it in there. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Now my bangs have gotten super long. Can't decide if I'm growing them out. I think I am because they've gotten so long. But I like to kind of leave them loose when I do my hair in an updo. So I'm going to keep those forward. But you want to do the same twisting method on the other side. So we're going to start at the top and do a very loose twist. Notice my fingers aren't like grabbing and really tightly twisting it. You want this to be soft. So begin just incorporating the hair below it. And then twist all the way back. And then you'll do the same thing with this side. You're going to go pull it over and go right on top of those horizontal pins. This bobby, bobby pin, I'm going to open and put it in that way. You can see my hair holds pretty well with just one pin, but don't be afraid to just layer a few pins on top of each section if you need a little bit more help holding your hair back. Okay, so pretty pleased with how the front looks. Let's see how the back's doing. Got those twists. I'm going to just tighten up this side back here. We'll finish with a little hairspray and you'll be good to go. This is the kind of hairstyle that I would recommend practicing a time or two before you're in the wedding. Um, or going to it. But once you get it, you'll see how simple it is. And once you break it into steps, people will say, you got your hair done, didn't you? And you can say, you just did it yourself. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're all pinned up. So I finished with a little bit of hairspray. My favorite hairspray of all time is Kenner Volume 25. I've said this a million times already. This is also excellent for humidity control. So if you're not usually a person that wears hairspray in their hair, if you've got an event to go to in the summer and it's gonna be hot, get some Kenra Volume 25 because it will really last, make your hair last so much longer. Make sure you spray the back section so that doesn't go anywhere. And then you're finished. So all you really need for the style is a few bobby pins, have your hair prepped before you start, and then if you are going somewhere fancy, be sure to look into Winks by George. Um, I'll include a link to their website below this post and at the end of the video. But it's a great way to kind of feel super dressed up. So I hope this style works for you. Practice. This is, I would put this in the intermediate category, um, but once you break it down into the three steps, I know you can do those. So have fun with it and enjoy whatever event you'll be attending this summer. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.